here is what we cover in this video. We will look at what metabolism is and how magnesium is involved in this process. We will see how a person uses magnesium when they have slow and fast metabolism. Fast and slow metabolism. Every person has a different biochemical makeup and this makeup determines how their body works. This makeup determines their nutritional needs, how they digest food and the type of metabolism they have. In the last video, we said the amount of magnesium you have in your body is dependent on your diet, supplementation, intestinal absorption and kidney filtering. But we left out one other important process that determines how much magnesium is used in your blood, lymph liquid and cells and its metabolism. Let's look at what metabolism is since magnesium plays an important role in food metabolism. According to www.medicinet.com, metabolism pertains to all the chemical reactions involved in modifying a molecule into another. For storage, converting certain molecules as an energy source for various cellular processes, transforming certain molecules as a component of biomolecules, example, carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids, and eliminating byproducts, such as nitrogenous wastes. Metabolism includes processes for cell growth, reproduction, response to environment, survival mechanisms, sustenance, maintenance of cell structure and integrity. These chemical reactions utilize various enzymes. www.medicinet.com definition continues. Metabolism may be categorized into two processes, catabolism and anabolism. Catabolism includes a series of degradative chemical reactions that break down complex molecules into smaller units, usually releasing energy in the process. Anabolism includes a sequence of chemical reactions that constructs or synthesizes molecules from smaller units, usually requiring input of energy ATP, in the process. In a video created by Stated Clearly, May 2019, what is metabolism? They explain metabolism as anabolic metabolism, reactions that join molecules together to build new ones, and catabolic metabolism, reactions that break molecules apart. To remember the difference, think catabolic as in catastrophe because catabolic reactions destroy things. When you eat an apple, your digestive tract breaks it down into individual molecules, sugars, fats, and amino acids. These are absorbed by your intestines, enter the bloodstream, and are then distributed to the cells of your body. Once inside the cell, metabolic reactions take over, transforming those molecules into little bits of you. While we often take this for granted, this concept is so important and so bizarre that it's worth repeating. A cell's metabolism, its internal network of chemical reactions, takes molecules from the environment the molecules of an apple in this case, breaks them down and transforms them into pieces of the cell itself. Sometimes the cell builds replacement parts for its own molecules that have been worn out. Other times it builds energy molecules. These act like fuel and will power the cell's future activities. Muscle cells use energy molecules to contract, brain cells use them to help form thoughts, and so on. This chart shows just some of the many networks, cycles, and series of chemical reactions happening inside your cells. As you can see, your body is constantly involved in different metabolic actions to process food, change nutrients into energy, or construct new molecules for growth and survival. All of this is done at the cell level, and magnesium is at the center of many of these chemical reactions. Metabolism is mostly controlled by your neurological, and endocrine systems. Both of these systems have complex interactions with each other. Endocrine system. This image shows all of the glands in the endocrine system. But the thyroid and the adrenal glands are the major glands involved in metabolism. The function of the endocrine system is to regulate various organs by producing and sending them controlling hormones. Neurological nervous system. From the n.wikipedia.org website, the nervous system is defined as. In biology, the nervous system is a highly complex part of an animal, 
that coordinates its actions and sensory information by transmitting signals to and from different parts of its body. The nervous system detects environmental changes that impact the body, then works in tandem with the endocrine system to respond to such events. Fast and slow metabolism. Every person has a different biochemical makeup and this makeup determines how their body works. This makeup determines their nutritional needs, how they digest food, and the type of metabolism they have. Fast Metabolizer In his book, Trace Elements and Other Essential Nutrients, Dr. David L. Watts, defines, the fast metabolizer as The fast metabolizer's thyroid and adrenal glands work overtime, accelerating cellular metabolic activity. One byproduct of this, increased workload is heat. A fast metabolizer usually feels warm and may perspire very easily. They can start sweating, even while they are doing very little physical labor. Just eating a meal can cause them to break out in perspiration. The fast metabolizer is always on the fast track and under constant stress. You can see a fast metabolizer needs a lot of energy. He will be low on magnesium and because of this, he will not be able to sustain his fast lifestyle. A fast metabolizer will easily use up his magnesium stores, making him more susceptible to insomnia, muscle cramps, cardiovascular disease, peptic ulcers, arthritis, diabetes, or allergies. The fast metabolizer will need more magnesium than normal to maintain his fast track lifestyle. Slow metabolizer. It is estimated that 80% of Americans are slow metabolizers. Their thyroid and adrenal glands become sluggish, causing their body to accumulate excess magnesium. Because of their higher magnesium levels, their metabolism starts to slow down. A slow metabolizer is more likely to feel fatigued, depressed, gain weight, and have low blood pressure. They may feel dizzy when getting up from a lying or sitting position. They may have cold hands or feet, and they may experience rapid heart rate on occasion. Making changes to move from a fast or slow metabolizer to a normal metabolic state requires changes in one's diet, lifestyle, and attitude. Taking a good amount of the right type of magnesium and an appropriate amount of other nutrients is the first step in improving your metabolism. Final thoughts. How you process food and use it in your body is determined by your metabolism. When your metabolism is not normal, you will experience diseases of various sorts. Knowing your metabolic type, fast or slow, can help you decide what type of magnesium you want to supplement. Your metabolism determines your personality and health level. The most important glands that control your metabolism are the thyroid and adrenals. Keeping them free of disease and healthy will provide you with a stable and normal metabolism. Let's go on to the next video. Thank you.